So, looks like it's going to be a clear night tonight, or I'd hope so, and apparently these clouds are going to go away, so tonight I'll be taking photos of the Prawn Nebula. And here's my equipment, a 135 Samyang lens at f2 with an ASI 1600 monochrome camera. So this is the line of sight I'm shooting at to get to the southern pole itself, which is just about next to the trees. And the hope for tonight is that by 9 o'clock, the target will be somewhere around there. It'll go up and over. I might not even finish it tonight, because some of these clouds may or may not stick around, apparently. And here I am beginning the polar alignment. So I'm using Sharp Cap with EQ Mod, and this is a pretty simple process, but it is a fair bit of trial and error. But you can get it down pat pretty easily. You just see me making adjustments to the mount until it is polar aligned here. And then I'm loading up my sequence in Nina of the Prawn Nebula. Nina's uh, the capture software I use simply. And here we are beginning the sequence. Uh, I started with Hydrogen Alpha as it was very low at the early stages, and this is autofocus. And here we are, the first subs rolled in, and as you can see, not much out here, but when we zoom into the Prawn Nebula, Wow, a lot of detail for one 60 second sub exposure. And already a tiny bit of nebulosity, but obviously it's very low and the stars are a bit hazy here. Now to get the files off the laptop and onto my computer. There's a, just about 400 of them, so it took quite a while. As you can see, that's 16 gigabytes of data from last night. And then opening my processing software of choice, PixInsight, I just run a quick blink to see if the subs are all good. It's actually crashed my computer on the first try, but the second time's the charm. And as you can see, the different filters, and then daytime begins uh, along with a few clouds. And here we are, so this is the green stack from last night. Not too much nebulosity, but a fair bit of dust here, as you can see. Um, in the prawn itself, is actually a fair bit of nebulosity, I wasn't expecting that. But there's a bit of distortion, I think that's because I didn't subframe select properly, but in the final go it will be better hopefully. Taking a look at the blue now, and there is actually a lot of blue data, which really surprised me. Um, there's also this dark nebula, nice dark nebula next to it, but the amount of blue data in the prawn was really surprising. And then the red is, well, or the red really, it's just amazing with all that hydrogen alpha in there. And yeah, so then we're going to have now take a look at the color data we took. This is just a rough, very rough initial image. Just keep that in mind, but that's the combined six hours. So stay tuned for next time when the final image is being taken. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe. See ya.